What's up, guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's race day, Thursday night. We're at Galat Motorsports Park. We got Randy's car out here. We've made a bunch of changes. Everybody says you got to make one change at a time before you go to the track. Mm, generally, that's a good idea, but that's not what we've done. That's not my style. I'm firing myself if it doesn't work tonight. I'm giving my two weeks notice. It's got to work. We're, I mean, it's got to work. It's got to be closer where the rear suspension was. Uh, we got the car lowered. Uh, we made all those changes. If you didn't go see that video, we had 213% anti-squat. He made a lot of changes. The car worked good last year. The changes he made, I didn't think were going to affect the anti-squat that bad, but it was only like 22 inches long. So he made a lot of changes. So we're at uh, Galat tonight. We're gonna try it. We're racing this weekend. I'm gonna leave the same tune-up in that we had the last pass at Fayetteville. So we'll see if it works out or not. Hopefully it does. Comment, like, and subscribe. Go to turbojohnracing.com, grab yourself some merchandise. Appreciate it, guys. All right, so we made some changes, made some changes. Hopefully it's for the right thing. You see that thing is sitting low. We did add weight to the car. We got 100 pounds on it in the back. We just moved the shocks up because it was squashing our spring so bad. But essentially, it's as low as it can go right there. Uh, Courtney went over uh, to the shop last night. Him and Randy, they, they went ahead and uh, notched, uh, rolled the fenders, whatever they call it. Uh, they didn't want me to be involved in that aspect. They said that uh, I would for sure screw it up. So uh, <laughs> that's what that's what y'all were thinking. I know that's what Courtney was thinking. But uh, I agree. I don't I don't disagree with y'all. I I guarantee you it would have been screwed up. It'd have been hacked up. It would have looked like some type of. Well, I'd have just cut the whole fender off. I mean, honestly, that's what we've done to my old car. But so uh, that's what that's what. Yeah, I know. It don't look like it though. But we made a lot of changes, so hopefully this thing's gonna work. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I mean, I got good, I got good hopes. We just reset all the suspension, we set the shocks, uh, added the weight to it. Uh, Randy sent the shocks off, the front struts off the fencer, and got a little bit more travel out of the front. Uh, so we're going, we're going to try it, guys. Here we go. We're going to see what happens. Milton's buttoning up the diaper now. Uh, we had to take that off uh, to access the starter. But uh, here we go. Coming up, race day.
All right, guys, here we go. Uh, Thursday night test and tune. Uh, track is probably in pretty good shape. We have not went up there and actually checked on anything yet, but I'm sure it's good. Glock is always reasonable. Uh, the changes we made, the 100 pounds, the suspension changes. We'll see how it works out, guys. All we can do is hope.
right, guys, good news that thing went down. It was a turtle. That's the bad news. But it did go down. So going down is better than not going down. Uh, we're still missing wideband data. Devin's going to get with me. Uh, we think we have burned up the outputs that controls the heater on that wideband circuit. He said he's seen that happen before. And uh, thinks what happened, you know, we were fighting that oil and problem with the turbo. And so, yeah, that's what we think potentially happens. That's what Devin thinks happens. I have no idea. But luckily, Holly's got a second wideband spot. So he's going to see me the, the, the pin map and show me where I need to do it. Car was slow, but it did go down. Uh, 121, 60 foot, 312, 462, 156. Uh, it did throw the oil pump and fuel pump belt off of it again right here at like 4.3 seconds into the run and of course it cut off and then he, he killed the power to it as well so that it didn't run with uh no fuel and no oil pressure uh the biggest thing is no oil pressure so and you can see the oil pressure is the yellow line it just dumps to nothing uh i've got a safety on it as well but i ended up turning that safety off because it had screwed us up one time so i'm gonna figure out how to make sure i get that uh done properly so that we're good so um left on seven pounds of boost made 35 pounds of boost uh it was fat he said it was stifling in the car it was just uh gaggling rich um so you know i had a very slow boost ramp in it too you can see it had a three second boost ramp in it i mean that's just not very radio friendly but we just we were trying to get the thing to go down we wanted it to, to get down track and go and then that way we could get some data and that's what we did so we got to get the oxygen sensor working. Once we get the oxygen sensor working, I think we're going to be in very good shape. So I think that's going to be the only pass we make tonight. Yeah. What's the plan? Did you decide where we're going? So we don't, we still don't know where we're going. Either we're going to Charlotte or to Piedmont. Uh, so uh, yeah, we got some work to do until it Saturday morning. I think Brian is going to try to triangulate and put a little bit more uh, support on that uh, bracket for the oil pump and that way we can not throw that belt off I mean it's just I mean it's just there's a lot of tension on it and the way it's kind of stuck stuck out there I mean you know it's just one of those things we're gonna have to we're gonna have to make it better there's a lot of pressure on it so overall though big happy I mean it, it was we got the we got the slowest pro mod in the country ours is not fast it's not fast at all all right guys well that's gonna wrap it up for tonight loading the car up in the trailer we got one pass it was slow but it went down that's all that matters at this point the tune-up from Fayetteville was essentially the same it had a little bit more boost at that point uh, about one second 1.2 seconds into the run but it wasn't much it wasn't enough to be significant because we had tried having way lower boost than that and it still wouldn't work so I think we're we're pretty close uh, track is in reasonable shape had a great rubber base but there was uh, not much sticky on it. So to go 121, 60 foot out there tonight, it's pretty impressive, honestly. And I think we could have probably went, we could have probably went a little faster. Maybe a 118, 117, probably not much of a problem. But we're gonna be racing it this weekend. Uh, we still are up in the air if we're gonna be going to uh, Piedmont or to Charlotte. I will make a post uh, on, I'll make a post and let y'all know for sure where we're gonna be going, because we have not decided yet. All right guys, comment, like, and subscribe. Hope to see y'all at the track soon. Later, guys.